Hey you guys, what's up? It's Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please think about hitting that subscribe button if this is something that you guys are into. Welcome back to all my other subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. All right, you guys, so today we are gonna be doing a front porch tour. Now, I've never done a front porch tour before on my channel, but I did ask on my Instagram stories if you guys wanna see it, and I've said this for a while, I've asked you guys, and every single time you guys vote yes, you wanna see a tour, so here we are this is probably gonna be a little bit of a longer video because I'm gonna do this sort of like you know a houseplant tour but for my porch I'm gonna go around and show you every single plant I have so if you guys are interested in seeing that please stay tuned also I just wanted to tell you guys about my t-shirt that I have on right here this is actually my brother's face on this t-shirt and my brother is a musician and during quarantine as soon as quarantine started he actually lost all of his gigs so he decided that he was gonna start playing music on Facebook live and it stuck so he plays on Facebook live every single night around 6 o'clock sometimes on the weekends he'll do like a brunch but you guys can find him on there his name is Josh Daniels grateful band under Facebook I'll link it down below but they call themselves fern heads okay all of his followers call, call themselves fern heads because he was playing a gig one time. There was a giant fern, kind of like this one behind me, behind his head, and it stuck. It's really cool. He's been playing for, it's in the 120s, 30s maybe now, days in a row. So if you guys are into music, make sure to check him out. I'll link everything down below, but I just thought that was funny that this is my brother's fern head face on a t-shirt. So let's just get right into the tour. I hope you guys enjoy this. Also just wanted to add that I'm so grateful and thankful to live here I don't know what I would do if I didn't live here this is my happy place you guys and it brings me so much joy I sit out here on my chairs and I drink my coffee in the morning also I just come out like all hours of the night <laughs> this the there's no light pollution here at all so you can see the stars so good you can just sit out here every night and I can see a shooting star it's amazing you guys it's just awesome all right, so the thunder is just gonna be our background music for this video because as you can hear, it's thundering, but I love it and it's actually cool. And look, there's a little breeze outside. So I really need to film this right now because it's been so hot, you guys. It's been in the 90s to 100. All right, so we're gonna start over here on this side of my porch. Okay, so right over here on this side of my porch, it looks a little bare. That's because it gets direct sunlight for most of the day and stuff will burn up if I put it over here on this side. But I do have two of my rubber trees here. This is my Ficus Elastica Burgundy. And I've struggled with these plants. Let me just pull that off, new leaf. I've struggled with these plants inside and I put them outside and they're really happy. Yes, it got a little burnt at first right there. That one got burnt, but overall they're really happy and it was probably only this tall and now it's shot out about all these new leaves and they're not burnt at all and they're happy and look another baby so they're happy right here so they get bright light right here and they really like it and I learned that from watching the crazy plant guys channel he has some really pretty ficus and I just have struggled with them so he said that they could take more light and that's what I did and they're really happy and they're doing so good and I do just have some cushions for these chairs but since it's raining it's inside all right so let's get over here to this side all right so let's start up here with my prayer plant and I struggle with these I don't really have them I don't like to buy them because I've killed two beautiful ones but it's putting out a new baby it was struggling <laughs> it's thundering so much it was struggling there for a while when I had it out in my sunroom and it was just getting way too dry out there so I water these plants out here on my porch way more often than I do on my sunroom so I decided to move it out here all right so this big guy right here is so beautiful it did die back it had spider mites and it died back and it was only one leaf and then we had a really 
bad storm out here and the leaf snapped so then it was nothing but now it's got about five or six new leaves and it's doing so good and I'm not 100% sure on the ID on this one so if you guys know it please leave it in the comments down below but this guy's doing really good now and he did kind of go dormant so I'm expecting him to do the same thing again this year hopefully I can keep him alive and bring him back to life then down below I just have this little snake plant and a thrifted planner he's I put him out here because my snake plants were struggling on my fireplace so I've kind of moved them all around then I have sissus discolor right here two little pots of sissus and this is doing so good you guys I killed this plant back I guess it was last year and it's completely grown back now they were just all these little stumps that's all it was and I put them in a cloche in my plant room and I gave it a grow light and they came back to life so I actually sent some of this to Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves and hopefully she can keep it alive because I sent her kind of the baby one another version of this it was probably like it looked exactly like this so hopefully she can keep it alive but I want to send some of these off too so hopefully they'll keep growing then right over here I have what is this? Is this an oyster plant or is it a Tradescantia? I can't remember, but this thing was dying and so, you know, he came back to life out here. He had like no leaves, so he's doing good. Then another Syngonium that I struggled with and he's doing good since I brought him out here. If you catch my drift on, uh, basically if a plant's struggling, I just put him outside. So then I have a Burl Marks, which hasn't done anything for me. That's kind of a long story, but I burnt his leaves on a grow light a long time ago and he's just never recovered and he's never put anything out for me so I thought I'll put him out here and see next up I have my Monstera which is so beautiful I picked it up this year it's doing really well and I've struggled with Monsteras you guys I have really struggled with them I killed two giant ones well I didn't totally kill them I have three separate little propagations of them that I was able to save but basically what happened with me and I want to be really careful not to do this again is every single time I would water the water would go down in these shoots like that and the water would sit and then it would get rotted and then these branches would just break off and I kept getting root rot and stuff like that so I'm really trying to just water around the stems not let the water just like drip down and sit in there I think that's what the problem was why I killed him but I'm not sure so far he's liking me and he's doing really good out here and is happy so he's in a really cute gray planter I got that one from Big Lots last year but a lot of my planters are either thrifted or my mother-in-law gave me and I do not care if they don't match I my style is like you know put crazy stuff together and see what it looks like um, <laughs> This one right here is a corkscrew plant and I struggled with this one last year. My local nursery had it and I think I set it out in the sun too much and it got burnt up. I have two of these. I have one on the other side as well. But, you know, it was cheap. I think it was like four bucks or something. Then I have this beautiful begonia. You guys, I'm getting into begonias. And I really love the angel wing cane type begonias. I know this one. I think this one's called frosty. I know it has a name tag let's see okay I think the other one has a name tag is this the one that has a this one has something growing on the back and I've left it I don't know I kind of want to see what it is it's been there for a while so I just didn't bother it okay I'll tell you the name of that one when I get to the other side because I think it's got a tag I haven't learned all my begonia names yet but I think that one's like frosty or something like that this was just a tiny tiny little bulb that I planted I got for like two dollars and I have the same one right over here on the other side and it's doing good I found that with all my bulbs that I planted the first couple leaves are gonna like not look good but then it'll start putting out good leaves and I'm really happy with it I love them then next up another begonia this one does have the tag isn't it so pretty and it's flowering oh I just love it so it's saying this one's frosty so I don't know I'm gonna have to ask Sam she'll tell me what they are 
Okay, so next up I have my Alocasia Frydeck. There's another leaf up there hiding under this one. And I was completely over this plant. This plant got spider mites a bunch and it just wasn't growing anymore. It would only put out three leaves. One leaf would die. So I moved him out here and he's so happy. Let me show you how big. Okay, he is. this is the happiest he's ever been. It's never put out a stem like this that's shorter but bigger leaves. This leaf is so big. I'm so proud and happy of it. It's giant next to my hand and it was always putting out little leaves like this. So I would say it's happy and it hasn't dropped the last leaf. Yes, it has some like yellow spotting. That's just damage and it's from a lot of different things. Basically like I overwatered it. I soaked it down with probably too much neem oil and it'll lose those leaves. I'm okay with that as long as the new leaves are looking good and healthy. So the new leaf is looking good and healthy and I'm so happy about it. Okay, so then I have this beautiful baby, which I got him so cheap too from my local um, nursery. I think it was like, I don't know, like $6 or something. And he was a lot smaller, but look at how beautiful. Oh, the leaves are so pretty. This one does have a name tag. Now I'm a little confused between calocasia and alocasias. So this one is an alocasia. Here it is. Let me get it to focus. That's the name of this one, and it is cold hardy, so that should be interesting. Hopefully, he'll come back. All right, so then let's go over to the other side of my porch. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. This guy right here, look at how big and beautiful, and she's putting a new leaf out behind. I found this bulb. Oh, he's a little dwarfed up. I don't know what happened to him. Something happened, but that's okay. Um, I found this bulb in my old soil box and I put some Instagram stories on it. You guys were following and it sprouted. I didn't know what it was. And here she is, a caladium and it's beautiful and pink. And I love it because it was like a little surprise. All right, so that's this side. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys these. Okay, so these were even more bigger bulbs. And I planted them right here. See how the newer, the first ones that come out get all messed up, but then they start looking good. And I'll clip them back. And it's got a new leaf. And I am a leaf picker, so what I'll do is like I'll just come and kind of like unwrap it a little bit like that, just to make sure nothing's hung, because they seem to unfurl better if you just pay attention to them, because sometimes they can get hung up in there. So I have those and these big orange planters. All right, so let's move over to the other side of my porch. There's my door, plastic wreaths. Um, I got those wreaths at Hobby Lobby and then I just made these little bows. I bought the ribbon. All right, so over here on the other side, I have this gorgeous fern, which I am obsessed with. And it's beautiful and it's gotten huge. I cut this one back basically totally to nothing and it needed it. I don't know why I left my fern struggling for so long with burnt up crispy stuff. I should have given him a haircut a long time ago. But ever since I gave him a haircut, he is giant and is really happy. And I just have him down here on this little stand. I have another fern, but we'll tell that story when I get to him. So I have some more begonias. This one I put out in two direct sun and it got burnt. It's looking a little bit sad. Then I have this one. Okay, so let me tell you what the difference is if it has a tag. Okay, so this one is the Sinbad. And here it is right next to this one. So you can tell they do look different. Oh, I just love them all. They're so pretty. But that one's pretty and big and it's happy and that is a little plastic container, not a terracotta, it just looks like one. Then I have some Monstera Addisonii wide form right here. This is actually what Sam sent me during one of our plant trades and he's doing good. Then I have a really sad jade. My husband put him, I had him underneath our table in the back. And our patio table and it's a glass top but it's like filtered light so I had them underneath there and for some reason he picked them up and put them on the table and he got burnt so he's a little sad but it's okay he didn't know okay so then I have some more elephant ear type this is a different type and this gets really big it's different you can tell because it has the yellow in it and it's called something else and then it's putting out one it's putting out a bloom actually i just lost some big leaves on it that were like really messed up 
but those were the first leaves on it so let's see okay this one's a calocasia here's the tag okay here's the tag that's what it's called <laughs> it's a funny name all right so here is a little overview of these guys I have another begonia right here which this one I'm really obsessed with oh my gosh the silver is so pretty and I got these for so cheap you guys okay this one is called looking glass I like to keep the tags in them so I can remember their names Ooh, it was lightning okay so more of those tiny bulbs see this one did better these bulbs came out better than the ones over there they are still a little bit messed up but this one has three pretty good leaves and it's putting out another new leaf right here which is going to be way bigger and i'm really excited another corkscrew plant then here is my lemon lime philodendron i moved him out here he was on my sunroom but was curling so bad oh my gosh you guys he was so curled up he was not happy i wasn't giving him enough water so ever since i moved him out here you know i water him every couple days and he's really happy all right so let's move on over to this big beauty you guys i just want to pull her out and show you how much she's grown since my pothos video which was just a couple weeks ago so let me pull her out and i'm going to show you guys how big she really is all right you guys Whew, I'm sweating. I'm gonna show you guys how tall I am next to this pot though. So let's let's look. All right, I don't know if you guys can see good or not. Let me get this a little more in the frame. All right, so here she is. <laughs> Maybe this way you guys can kind of understand a scale of how giant look at these leaves oh my gosh but i'm worried because it really needs a pole we're going to and look that leaf is smaller it knows if it doesn't have a pole to climb it knows it um we're going to lowe's or home depot one tomorrow so i'm gonna pick up a pole for this guy it might just be a pole without the sphagnum moss until i can get some but here he is giant and beautiful and these leaves right here are so big they're as big as my hand and oh my gosh i love him so much he's grown insane even just since my pothos video he has grown insane and i love it he's filling out that hole and he's giant i'm so glad and the arrow roots are sticking in to the pole they're attaching themselves so that's really cool because they'll just stick up in there so he likes it and he's happy and healthy out here and I did clean him with like a little bit of a neem oil spray. So let me put him back and we'll move on to some other exciting things. So I have some big plants over here I want to show you guys. All right, so he's back in his home. Next up, I have another fern, but he's not doing as good even though I cut him back not as much as this one right here, but I don't know, I guess it's lighting he they just look like completely different plants and the reason is because this guy had a spider on him when i went to cut him i'll show you this guy had a spider on him there he is right there and i decided to leave him attached because that's actually a good kind of spider um so yeah he was living in this fern so when i went to give him a haircut i didn't cut like that whole side where the spider is and he just didn't respond as well so this, I'm blaming it on the spider is why <laughs> he doesn't look as good as this one but I'm not sure why I had them just as long I've had these ferns for like three years you guys and they get huge they're super mature but they needed to be cut back so there he is that's a story on why he's sad and he lives right there all right so moving on over is my giant rojo congo and if you guys have been with me for a while you know i struggle with this plant my cats destroyed it and ripped it up it had fungal issues so i bought this guy pretty big but since i've had him out here on my porch he's really happy and has put out two new leaves here they are they're really small but this thing has not put out any new leaves the entire time i had them so i'm happy with it and i lost some fungal issue leaves on the other side so this is basically how it goes it just fans out 
<laughs> this is how it wants to grow so I'm just leaving him and letting him do his thing but yeah it's totally wonky and crazy looking but I'm okay with it and even though he's damaged and messed up I still love him then on over to the side I just have a fire pit right here with some potting soil in it we usually have this like right out front and we use it sometimes in the front so I don't know I was kind of thinking about planting something in here then next up I have this fiddly fig which I have had forever you guys and it only had two is it two leaves it only had two leaves one leaf dropped and then this one was it I was done with this plant and I said screw it I'm just gonna put it outside you can see how bald it is down there and since I put it outside it has put off all of these leaves you see the darker green ones those are all the new leaves this one right here is the oldest leaf the only one I had on the plant that wasn't like completely jacked up but it hated it inside so eventually as it keeps growing I'm just gonna chop that off and propagate it and you know see what happens so he's doing good now I'm telling you guys all my plants I want to move more plants out here any plants that I put out here seem to do good then over here in the sad corner is my compacta carnosa it had fungal issues and it's had something for a really long time like as long as I've had it honestly and I wasn't on top of treating it and yeah I separated out some that was bad not that long ago but I don't know it's just not good and then it got burnt a little bit and it's sad but it's doing better it is doing better I have just a little potting bench thing then some more sad things so uh, I'm so sad about this okay so my bird of paradise started curling leaves it used to be so beautiful inside I don't know what the heck happened but I repotted it because I thought okay maybe that's the issue it's root bound so when I repotted it I decided to separate it into two little plants because this plant was like completely separate which was a dumb idea I should not have done it and I think that's what the real issue is it didn't like being separated it wants to be crowded so I've tried everything I've moved the light I've changed the watering I've gave it more water less water and it's just continued to curl and they both live over here now I'm gonna pot them back up together just in that green pot probably and see if that helps but it used to be so big I mean that leaf is kind of opening up but I don't know give me suggestions it used to be so beautiful for a really long time but it was living inside and I'm not sure why it doesn't like me anymore okay so here is my five dollar I got this on sale philodendron is it Salome? I can't remember, but I think it's been reclassified now, so I'll have to look into it. But this philodendron is so happy out here. He absolutely loves it and has put out like four new leaves. This was down to just like no leaves at all, and it's happy and it's doing really good. And I was so happy I got him for five dollars. Here is my pride and joy, my giant angel wing begonia. You guys, this one is the Lana, I believe look at its coloring it is so pretty and the back sides of the leaves are this dark burgundy color and it's doing so much better this was struggling really bad over the winter and lost like tons of leaves and I wasn't giving it enough light but I'm really happy I have this plant in my collection and I'm about to chop her again I picked this one up off of Facebook marketplace believe it or not I just happened to be on there and I got it for so cheap look at how mature this plant is also I need a new pot for it I need to repot it I have added more topsoil and fertilized it and freshened up the soil and aerated it because this thing probably hasn't been repotted in forever but she's doing a lot better much happier now but it's huge and giant I'm gonna get Ruben to come out here and film me standing next to it so you guys can really get the <laughs> brevity of how big and huge this is and I believe the lady told me she had this plant forever like this plant is probably I can't remember I want to say 20 years uh, it sounds crazy but I totally believe her because it's so mature and I can see how this would be 20 years old <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to adjust the camera again you guys it's as tall as me I absolutely love this to going to you guys I'm so glad I got this and yeah it's giant i'll show you the pretty side i need to remember to rotate it some more but yeah this is how big it is and it's this tall next to me which is crazy so that's how big he is let me put him back he needs to be repotted you guys 
it does actually better with a little bit brighter light. I used to have it over here on this side of my porch up against the wall, but ever since I put it towards the front, it seems to be really happy and it likes some brighter light. It seems to grow faster. Now these do drop leaves pretty quickly. Um, they'll turn yellow and chlorotic kind of like, kind of like this, and then the stem will get yellow and they'll fall off, but they produce a lot. So I absolutely love this plant and okay, so who has some of this? So Sam at Sassy and Succulents has some, Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves, um, Brad from What the Flock Farm and Stacia from Oops I Sold My Planties has some of this. So I've loved that I've been able to share it and I have a couple more people I need to send some to so I'm going to give them a haircut again and I just chop them at the stem and stick it down in water and roots will come out of these nodes. The lady who had them before just kind of haphazardly chopped at him and you can tell like when you look down in the plant you can tell all the places that she had chopped it but I got this guy for like 30 bucks I'm not kidding I think it was 30 was it 35 okay it was 35 and then when I got there I had two 20s I was like I'm just gonna give her 40 bucks for this plant because I know that this plant is worth way more than that and she's happy it's going to a, a good home and then my husband ended up picking up a bowling ball so we got the bowling ball and this plant for $40 so I'm really happy and I love it so yeah this side over here is a little bit more bare but that's okay, it's still pretty. I just gotta find a new pot because this pot is like crumbling away and I really need to repot it this season. So then moving on over, I just have a couple more bulbs that I planted. And like I said, the first ones that come out like this, you'll probably lose them and they don't do so good. And then as the newer ones come out, they look better and they don't have like spots or funky things on them. That's just what I found and it needs to put out, it's gonna put out like a really big stem right there. So yeah, there he is doing good, but I think that's it you guys. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much if you made it till the end of this video. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of my porch tour if you guys liked it. Um, also, make sure to check out <laughs> my brother's Facebook page down below. I'm gonna link it and you guys can watch him play music live every night if that's something you guys are into. Also, my Etsy shop will be linked down below. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support and liking and subscribing. You guys are the best. And I'll be back at you guys again soon with another one. Bye.